guys what's up welcome back to the channel if you are new here welcome hey girl thank you so much for clicking on today's video hopefully you'll stay a while watch some more content and subscribe before you go but today we're going to be doing a really quick and really simple style this slick back bun that literally was 2.5 um and i have type 4 hair really like 4b 4c so you know to get like a well for me anyway to get back a slick back bun well, to get a slick back bun is, you know, a little bit difficult, but we did it really quickly and it came out really cute if I do say so myself. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I use the handy dandy wet line extreme gel, a little bit of edge control. I use some mousse too, but I didn't show you. I used my magical brush. Like I told y'all, this brush is just so good. Um, I'll leave a link if you're interested. And I used a bunch of hair ties. So my hair was literally, I had literally just rinsed out my um, conditioner and just threw some leave-in in. So my hair was like really, really, really wet. And I find or I found that like it's best to do it this way for me and let it set overnight um, because that's when I get it like the sleekest with like minimal flyaways. So I'm just sectioning off like the lower half and then I'm going to detangle because that's like really important. Like I said, this brush is magical. I literally am obsessed with this brush um, and I think everybody needs to have one. I just brought um, one of my friends one for her birthday because... <laughs> It's necessary but so after I detangle I'm going to um, add the wet line and I used a crap ton of gel let me tell you okay I used a lot of gel um, but yeah I'm putting the gel on and then I'm smoothing with the bristle brush this one was kind of weak I ain't even gonna lie it's time for me to get a new one because um, this one wasn't really as good but it got the job done then I'm going to get that hair off my hand first <laughs> then i'm gonna put um a hair tie oh no i'm not wait a minute now i guess i'm using more gel and then i'm gonna go in with the hair tie mm -hmm. you see i knew it was coming um but yeah then i'm going with the hair tie and i'm literally just gonna repeat that throughout my whole head i'll talk you through like one more section and then i'll just let you watch because it's really simple but yeah first i'm going to detangle i sectioned off like another area and honestly i probably should have made that two sections but i was just like you know trying to cut corners you know trying to speed through but um yeah i detangled with the magical brush and then added some gel a lot of gel added a lot of gel and then um smoothed it out with my whack bristle brush that I need to replace um and then went over um with the hair tie like I didn't want to take that one out and then re-put it back on so I literally just added one on top of the other one because I don't have time and I didn't want to like mess it up so you know it is what it is now I'm gonna let you just watch the rest because it's pretty self-explanatory after this I'm literally just gonna keep repeating the same steps until I get it all sleep. Did you get ready in the dark or something? Cause you look like a beautiful nightmare.
Okay, so now I'm just going to comb out this portion and do some sort of like banding method because if I would have just let my hair dry like that, it would have been just impossible to like um, get it detangled or anything because it would have shriveled up so bad. Um, and then I'm going to put some mousse over it just to like add some extra like something um i never really did this before i never really put mousse on my hair but i was just like you know can't hurt let me try it out because i did have a little bit of flyaways but it's really not as bad as like it has been before when i tried to like do this quick um but yeah now i'm just going to tie my hair down and i used <laughs> three different scarves because you know precision like it, it i was like I, I didn't put in all of this work and get it nice and sleek for it to mess up overnight because my scars have a tendency of coming off in my sleep but um yeah so i put one going like starting at the front and bringing it to the back and then one starting at the back and then bringing it to the front and then this one is just like for extra 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 security and it was because my hair was wet still too so then I went to sleep and then I popped up, went in my wig closet and then I seen I had a couple of different like textures and colors. So one was color two and one was color four. I decided to go with the color four because my hair is more of like four than it is two. Um, so yeah, I'm literally just going to take the ponytail, the end of the track, I doubled it and then I wrapped the hair all the way around and then I started wrapping the track. It's really really like simple and this is i did it kind of messy too like i was just like it's it's going in a bun anyway so it's really not that big of a deal um so yeah i'm just gonna wrap that all the way around and then literally i'm going to just wrap the hair and make it a bun um and i did decide to like leave out a couple of little curly pieces because you know just for a little bit of flavor um but yeah this was real quick y'all i'm serious the the slick down process which is really the hardest part in my opinion probably took me all of 20 minutes that's with like detangling and everything so this was the quickest i've ever done a slick back anything okay so that was the style really quick really simple and this is the finished look i got like just a couple of pieces of the curly hair like hanging down just because just for character you know um and this was really just some hair that i found like in my wig closet um so i was like you know let me just like throw some and go with it um but it came out cute this is literally i'm gonna wear this just for today and probably for church tomorrow but like um yeah that's it um give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it drop down in the comments let me know what you thought subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and i'll catch you in the next one Peace and blessings.